Welcome to lesson one. In this lesson, we are going to create your blog. So we're going to set up more than just your theme. We're going to make it look the way we want it to look. We're going to add some blog posts, some generic blog posts, just so we have something to look at while we're designing this thing. It's This is a longer lesson. It's going to take us a little bit of time. But before we get started, you're going to need to go to the domain where you're going to log in to your WordPress site. And it's going to look something like this. Okay. So basically, you're just going to put in your domain and then slash wp-admin. And you're gonna log in using your username and password that you created. And then you're gonna click this link and open, it's gonna be a Google Doc to a sample blog post that we're gonna use that I actually used chat GPT to create. So I did not write this, uh, a software did, an artificial intelligence software, so that was pretty cool. Um, but open that and then let's head over to WordPress. So after you log in, it's gonna look like this. There are two things that you can do to start. You could either click on change design or change theme here, or you can go over into appearance and click on themes. And then we're gonna hit add new theme. We wanna use, and I think it's on this page actually. Yeah, there's some on here. See this Astra, but we don't wanna use one that's already built for something. Just type in Astra in the search bar. It's A-S-T-R-A, hit search. It'll pop up and see this is the basic one. This is the one that has the most customization to it. So let's hit install. And you can use whatever theme you want. Like if you're good with WordPress, obviously do your own thing. I'm just showing this. I'm just showing you what I would do if I was starting over right now to make life simple. Hit activate. All right, so our theme is installed. Now let's go over here to, before we do anything else, let's work on our settings. All right, so our site title, this is your, where you're gonna put in the title of your site. Uh, your tagline, and I'm just putting some generic in here. Like I should probably put in lesson plans for K to five math teachers or whatever it is, first through fifth math, math teachers. Don't change these links, leave those the same. Make sure your email is correct. It should already be pre-populated with the one you used for your site ground account. Anyone can register. This doesn't matter, so just leave that. None of the rest of this stuff matters. Leave all this. Hit Save Changes. Then go to Writing. So these are the settings for your actual writing in your blog. Default Post Category. We're going to create some of these, so just leave this for right now as uncategorized. Default Post Format Standard. Mail Server. Don't touch any of that. And hit Save Changes. Reading. Your latest blog post, this is important. Make sure your latest blog post is checked. So what this ch does right here is this is going to make it so that when they visit blog.youcanmath.com, it goes straight to your blog and doesn't go to a home page that you created on WordPress or some other page that you created on WordPress. You could also have it direct to a static page. So if you were building your entire website and membership and everything on WordPress, which is a nightmare and I don't recommend, you would hit static page and then you would select the page that you want for your home page after you created all your pages. And then you would select another uh, domain for your blog. So you'd have to create a page and add your blog to it. So all sounds complicated, right? It's because it is, it's really frustrating. Hey, this is the easiest way to do it. So just hit this uh, blog post to show it most. Um, I like to do 25, it's up to you. I believe on one of them, I have 50. I don't think it makes any difference. It just, that's just how many are on one page. Uh, for each post in the feed, we want to do an excerpt, so we don't want to put the full post on our blog page that has all of our blog posts on it. We just want that to be an excerpt. Search engine visibility should not be checked. Hit save. Then click on discussion. All this stuff should be good. You can turn comments off if you want to. That's totally up to you. Um, depending on your business model, you may want to leave them on. You may want to turn them off. That's just going to depend on how much headache because you're going to get a lot of spam in your comments. The comments on a blog are not as relevant as like posts on social media. When you, when you post your blog posts on social media, those comments and discussions are going to be much more beneficial than the ones that are actually on your blog post. But again, it's totally up to you. If you want to put it on there, there's nothing wrong with it. You just have to monitor it heavily because you will get a lot of spam like bots and stuff adding just weird links and comments in your comment section to all your blogs. Media, we don't need to worry about this. Leave all that the same. Permalinks, leave it the same. Privacy, 
That's for your privacy policy. Don't worry about this. We have already set up a page for that that we'll add to it later. And then your site ground plugins, just leave these the way they are. Don't worry about these two for right now. These are site ground things working in the back end that are already set up for you. All right, then let's click on plugins real quick. You should only have three. If you have more than three, delete them. Okay, so these are the only three that should be on there right now. And these are ones you want to leave because this is what SiteGround uses to make sure everything runs smoothly. If something breaks, they use these to fix things and whatnot. But basically, all you need to know is these are good for your website. So leave them there. This Astra thing that popped up, this is your theme. So this is where you can do custom layouts and all that stuff. If you want to get real crazy with it, we're not going to do that. We just want a simple blog with our blog posts so that we can deliver our freebies. All right, so let's click on posts. Make sure there are none here. If there are any, check the box by the post and hit delete them. And then also delete it from the trash can that will pop up there. I don't have any, so you should neither. Here, we want to delete the privacy policy and the sample page. If you have it, you can leave one. I would leave one page just so that you have something in there to look at while you're doing this first part of customization. But just hit move to trash, and this is how you do it for the post too, if there are any. So sometimes you get a sample post that pops up. Uh, hit apply. Trash. Get rid of those. Media, you shouldn't have anything there. We talked about post. All right, so let's start customizing this thing. Now hover over appearance and go to customize. You're going to click on this little button right here. That's a pencil looking thing. That's to edit the your menu bar. So the height of the menu bar, that's totally up to you. You just play with these things and make them what you want, right? It, by default, it's 110. I move it down to 30. It's up to you if you want a little bit more space, maybe put it at 40. Again, you want this to look as close to your Kajabi site as possible. So we'll just set it at 40. And then for visibility, it's going. you can say, do I want my header to show up on all of these things? So make sure all of these are checked. See how they're blue on the outside? That means they're checked. If it's unchecked like this that means that it's not going to show up on mobile so you wouldn't be able to see this on mobile so make sure all three of those are checked hit publish then click on design your background we're going to change the background color so let's make it the color that we have been using well you're going to make it the color whatever your header is i'm going to use the one that i've been using bottom border size irrelevant we don't want a bottom border spacing everything looks good up there so we're going to hit publish. Then you're going to click on the pencil by your logo. Change your logo. And then you're going to put in your alt text. So I already have it in my title. So I'm going to put it there. You can put whatever you want up here. I would put something along the lines of you can math delivers K to five resources to math teachers all over the world or something like that. Right. But basically make it fit your business. Compression level none, hit select. Skip cropping. There it is. Let's make it fit now. We want it to be as close to our Kajabi site as possible. So mm, that looks pretty good. Site title is irrelevant because it's not actually going to show. So we want these turned off, which they are. Inline site logo, don't worry about that. Your tagline, if you want to change that, that's something we already edited. We did that uh, before we got into this customized part, so it should already be there. The tagline is not going to show. Your site icon, so this is where you're going to set your little logo that we made. Hit publish. We are good up here. Let's click on this pencil and it'll bring up this. Your width, visibility, you can play with all these things. It's just going to change the text of your menu. We are going to change all these links to match our Kajabi links that we need. So we'll do that later. Item divider. No, we want it to show up on all of them. Design. 
hover over style. So on Kajabi, it does kind of like the zoom in thing, but that's totally up to you. I leave this on none. I think the more moving parts and the more things that zoom and move and boom and whatever on your website, it just slows your website down. So I use none. You can make it look pretty if you want. That's totally up to you. Sub menu container, just leave that. That's for the drop downs. Some of you will use them. Some of you will not. I'm going to make one just so you know how to do it. But let's just leave it as is for now and we'll change it later if we need to. Sub menu animation, we don't need one of those. Not a big fan of animations on the website because it just slows it down. Border width, good. Radius, good. Hey, your text link color, we want to be white because that's what we're using on Kajabi. So see how it brightened it up there? It's not transparent anymore. The background, we don't want to have that. We want to have it transparent so that the blue just shows through. So that'll put a box around this and it looks goofy. I don't like it. So that's up to you. You can do that if you want, but that's what the background does. Menu font, we want the font to be Poppins. Or you're going to pick whatever font you want. I'm using Poppins because that's what I've used on the entire site so far. And that is all good. I'm going to hit publish just to be safe. Spacing, fine. Good. So our menu is done. Now, when you click on the background up here, you'll see, see this section right here. This is for your menu. So when you click on the menu, you get these things that pop up. So the site title and logo, we can move this around. If you want the logo in the middle, you can put it in the middle and you can move this stuff over here. You can move these things wherever you want. So we want the title over here. We want the primary menu. We do not want social links. And we might put a join button up there. So let's go ahead and do that. So there's always a join button. And that is hideous. We do not want it to look like that. So we want this to say, uh, what did we put? Become a member? Whatever. Make it say whatever you put in Kajabi. I think ours said join membership. But make them match. Put in your link that you want it to go to. So for us, it should be HTTPS colon slash slash two slashes www dot dot you can math dot com slash join my advice is don't type it in go copy it from your actual website don't do what i just did actually copy and paste the correct link uh we don't need to put anything there open in a new tab visible on everything, hit publish, then hit design. Now here's where we're gonna change the colors of everything. We want the text color to be white. We want the background color to be our green, which, let me find that real quick. So you're gonna paste or type in that color and starting to look closer. Font, we want it to be Poppins. Save it again. All right, now here's the stuff that we need to change. The border radius, we want it to be, well, what did we use? 10, I believe. Yeah, that looks pretty close. I think it was 15, actually. But make it the same. Yep, that's what it was. Padding, let's do 12, looks pretty close. All right, and it doesn't have to be identical. You can sit here and play with this all day and try to make it identical to your Kajabi one, but let's hit publish and then just take a look real quick. So as you can see, that's that's pretty close. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change that to 10, the border radius, and as you can see, it's pretty close. I need to change this because this is not matching this one, so I'm going to make this to match this. So I'm, I'm basing my menu that I'm making right now off of this one. So as you can see, that's pretty close, right? All right, so we're good there. Hit publish, which we already did. Now let's go ahead and do the footer. So click on the pencil in the footer. Our footer is also, so let's go back to the website here. Our footer is also that same color blue with white text, social media links, all that good stuff. So we're gonna make it look exactly like that. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we want it to be a three column. We want our copyright information on the left, that is correct. 
we want it to be in line. We want it to be full width because that's how we have it on the other one. The height can be 80. So let's leave that for right now. 80 is fine. Vertical alignment. We want it to be in the middle. Hit publish. Go back up to the top. Click on design. Don't care about the border. Border color. Don't care. Background. We want this to be our blue. So let's type in our blue or whatever color you used. Spacing, padding, all that stuff. Leave that the way it is. Hit publish. Now we're going to add a widget into our footer section here. We want to add our footer menu. And we will create that later. So it's not going to show anything right now. But if we click on it, we can set it to what it looks like. So we want it to be in line. We want it to be in the middle. And we want it to show on everything. For the design, we want the link text color to be white. The background to be transparent, which it already is. And all that should be good. Hit publish. And then our third one over here, we want our social media links, which you get, you guys can add all those in later, but add it, click on it. And then you'll click on these and it's pretty self-explanatory. You just copy and paste your URL for each one, whatever you have in there. We want these to be aligned to the right. And actually we want our copyright information to be aligned to the left, okay? So this one right, this one left, this one center, that makes it space out nice. You can change your copyright info. So if you want to get rid of that powered by blah, 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 go ahead and get rid of it. I would. So it looks like that. And for some reason, it is not white. So change your text color to white. Hit publish. So let's go back to the social media links just so we can change the colors now. We want these to all be, so hit design and we want these to be white. No background color. Like that. So there we go. Icon size. I think they're a little bit bigger in Kajabi. 20 looks good. And that looks great. So again, we're going to do our menu in a different video. So just leave this for right now. But basically, we're done. We're all set up with our header and footer. So now let's get out of here, this customization part. So hit publish and then go back. Don't push the X, keep pushing the back button. And then click, we're gonna click through all these settings. So global, okay? This is where you would change what your font is. So go ahead in here and change your font to whatever you want them to be. Again, I'm using Poppins. Your colors, you can set your color palette in here. So just like you did in Kajabi, go ahead and put your color palette in here. And this is how you change what's going to be what color. So we want our links to be green. We want our accent to be whatever color you want it to be and so on and so forth. So you change all these. The site background color, we want that to be white because that's what we're using. And content background, we also want to be white. So that's all good. Hit publish, then hit back. Containers, okay, so this is kind of important. So leave this the way it is for right now. You can change this based off of how you want your website to look. So my advice is leave this the way it is for right now until we come back after we add some blog posts. We can look at it and see what it looks like. Container width, don't change that. Get out of here. Buttons, you can set what your buttons will look like, okay? So our button is pretty much this one right here. So you can do a predetermined back or button, and we need this to be our green green now all the buttons on the website will look like that the text color we want it to be white and as you can see it's going to redo the every button on the website okay and the radius i think we said was 10. all right so publish back oh and just real quick in the buttons thing, this is to make like a hollow button. So it'd be colored green on the border and the letters and hollow on the inside. We're using this one. Scroll to top. You can put that on there if you want. There's just a, there'll just be a button that pops up down here that lets you scroll to the top of the page. 
Um, I would I would turn it off because we're going to add live chat and they'll overlap with each other anyways, so you don't need that. Block editor. Leave that. Miscellaneous. Leave it. Go back. Header builder. We already did that. The breadcrumbs, just leave that for right now. Your blog, let's create some blog posts and then we'll come back and do this. So leave that for right now. Same with pages. Our sidebar, this is where you will choose what your sidebar looks like. We want it aligned to the left and the width of 30 is fine. You can make it 25 if you want. So it's a little bit smaller. That's up to you. 25 should be good. I'm just going to leave everything the way it is, and we'll play with that later after we decide if we like what it looks like. Go back. Footer Builder, we already did. Site Identity. This is your favicon, so you can go ahead and add that in. Menus, we'll create these on a different day, so don't worry about that. Widgets, same. Leave them. We're going to create those on the same day. Home page settings, we already chose this, so it should be correct. Leave it as your latest blog post, and we don't need to add any additional CSS. Okay, so we are set up and ready to go. Click on the X. All right, now click on posts, and we are going to add some dummy posts. So hit add new. You're going to go to that AI generated blog post that I gave you. You are going to copy the entire thing. So command. A or control A, depending on which type of computer you are on. Then you're going to copy it, command C. Then you're going to go back to WordPress. And for title, we're just going to put this as math blog post one. So name it whatever you want, but I would stick with me with these because these are just samples that we're going to delete when we're done. So go ahead and click on the block below and hit command V to paste all that in there. So let's talk about the layout of your blog posts because you're going to write these in, a in another day. These are just samples again. So you want an image at the top that's 1280 by 720. That's probably going to have some text on it that says, you know, this is how you teach adding two plus two or whatever your blog post is about. This is going to be some kind of an opt-in to sign up for your freebie email sequence. So make yourself an image in Canva. Then you're going to have you know, your blog post. So what's it about? Here's links to all of the things that you need. And basically this editor is very simple to use. So as you can see, we already went through what, a, what our blog posts look like. So this is going to be totally up to you. Your company can be, could be completely different. So if you're giving away different kinds of resources where there, maybe they're not links, maybe this is the resource, that's fine too. I just posted in a generic blog post. So you'll have images inside your blog post. You want to make sure you have some kind of pin for Pinterest and then you wanna have a way to join your membership, right? So that's what all this is. So if you notice, it's exactly like all of our other blog posts. Let's hit publish just so it's live. And let's just do three of these so we can get a good feel for what it's gonna look like. So let's get out of here, click on the U or click on your WordPress logo, whatever you put for yours over here. Let's add another one. This is gonna be math blog post two. So now what you can do is you can make a copy if you want. You could copy this AI generated one. You can copy this and just use this format and create your own Google Doc. Paste the blog post in there. Hit publish. Publish. Click on the U. Let's do one more and then we'll talk about some other things in here. So hit add new. Math blog three. All right. Now over here you'll notice before we hit publish on this one you have some things that you can fill out. So stick to the top of the blog post. All right, so we're gonna go down to where it says categories. And we have uncategorized as our only option. We're gonna create some categories in a little bit. So this is another way to get to that, just to remember once I show you how to do this. Your tags, you wanna add tags to your blog post. So what is it about? This is about how to teach math blog three or whatever you want to put in there. So if it's adding two plus two is what your blog post is about, then that's what you would put in there. You hit enter. So put as many tags as you want in there to that fit the description of your blog post. What's it about? This just helps with your SEO a little bit. Featured image. You want to put a featured image in for each blog post. I'm just going to add the same one to all three so you'll see where they go. Hit publish, publish, 
All right, then go back and let's do the same thing for one and two. Add the add an image in there. You can add three different images if you just want to see what it's going to look like. I'm just going to add the same one for each one. Hit update. So after you make any changes to a blog post, you hit up, update. And you can see this is very simple to use. Go to blog post two, add your image. All right, so all mine are gonna be the same. You can add different ones if you want to. Like I said, hit update, go out. Now, let's click hover over the top here and hit visit site. Now you'll notice this is what it currently looks like. So this is what the page that the blog posts are on will look like. Click on this, you'll see what an actual blog post looks like. So here's your blog post, your links and everything. Looks good, okay, and I left the comments on. You can get rid of this if you want, like we discussed. And then eventually we're going to create our sidebar, okay? And the sidebar, we're gonna wanna make some images. You need to go make some images in Canva, one that is join my membership, maybe one that sign up for your first grade freebies, second grade freebies, third grade freebies, just a bunch of signups like we talked about that you saw on all the other websites that we looked at, right? So your sidebar is gonna be call to actions of how to get to different things on your website. And the most important one up top, how to join your membership, okay? So this all looks good. Again, we're gonna change the menu bars later on, the footer bar menu. We are going to change that as well later on. And everything looks good for right now. So when they click on the logo, it should take them to the blog, good. And your join button should take them to the link to join your membership and everything is working smooth. Okay, so that is it for this lesson. I don't want it to get too much longer, but we are all set up like you have a blog up and running. Okay, so now you can create your own blog post, which we're gonna do, um, we're gonna talk more about in a different day, so don't panic about it. And we're gonna dive in way more detail into the WordPress stuff as we go throughout this day and into the next few days. So don't panic right now, just keep chugging along. Let's head on to lesson number two.